Severe MMA, we're here at Cage Warriors 82 alongside Ashley Darbyshire in a, a great fight against Ben Stokes. Ben Stokes, a tough opponent. Very, it's your very third, tough. Uh, third fight, yeah. and, and first time in the new weight class at, yes. at, at lightweight. First time at lightweight. Ben Stokes, a good test, and you know, a, a good three round war there that, that had a little bit of everything. Talk us through the fight from your perspective. Um, I think it was just, I think it was just a war. I think we just went to war. He was, um, I don't really read too much upon my opponents, what my coach is doing. They told me what to expect from him. He told me he's very wild with his hands, throws big shots. He did. He caught me a couple of times in the second, which he was. He was throwing heavy shots, kicks as well. But um, I was very surprised um, with his clinch game and his. He's getting, he's getting up off his back off the floor. He's very, very strong, and I'm, um, I'm big at this weight. I'm very big at this weight, and I'm strong. But he, he was a, he was a strong kid. He got up, he just, he, picked, he was just standing up with me on his back at one point. So, very, very good, strong, technical kid. The move to welter to lightweight, man, that's a, for, for, an, for anybody, that's a, that's a, that's a big cut. Yeah. Uh, you know, how did you find that cut? Did you feel good the first time? Is it something you're gonna embrace again? Um, yeah, never, never again will I go back to welter. Uh, at welter, I was cutting from, I was starting my camp at 80. And I was cutting to 77. Sometimes I was 79. So I never once had a welterweight fight. If I'd have gone three rounds at welter, I would have been in trouble because I wasn't conditioned. This I've had to graft. Like, like I said, saying a minute ago, my granddad died three, four weeks ago. You know, so I took a hit with my training then and missing days and drinking a bit and things like that. So four weeks out from the fight, I had 10 kilos to lose, and so I had to grab me, shout at me, and tell me basically, right, eat this, drink this, do this, and he, 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 he dragged me through it to the point where in four weeks I dropped 10 kilos, you know, so coming to this condition, knowing I'd done, the, I'd done the rounds, I'd done the work, I'd done the roll, I'd done everything to get myself conditioned. That's why I was able to put the three rounds in there, because they were good rounds. The, that's my next question. You know, the perform, you must be pleased. There are a couple, of, a couple of positional changes that perhaps you'll be frustrated at yeah, when you look right. in hindsight, but you're pleased with your performance tonight, you're happy with very, where it very went? Very, it, um, it was sloppy. It was very, it was very sloppy. You know, there's a lot of stuff I did well, but there's a lot of stuff that I did in the, like, I had his back twice and he managed to just basically flip me off my back because I was I didn't have ear to ear, I didn't have nothing, didn't, um, didn't have a seat belt. But I've never done three under pressure rounds like that, so it was just a case of doing the hard rounds and getting through them. That's all this was about. It wasn't about being technical and perfect. I'm three fights in, so I've got all the time in the world to get technical and perfect. Well, you say three fights in and all the time in the world, but how long before you want to step in? I assume a little break, and then are we look in May, June. No, um, like I said, then I've got like, I feel my back of my legs tight here, so. I give it. I give it. I'll have a couple of days off. Go back to the gym. See what it feels like. And then hopefully, got my own teammate there, Casper Zazad. He's fighting on um, FCC, yep. and that's in our hometown. So my body letting me. I'll be on FCC in two weeks, and then a million percent on um, Tanko in May. Phenomenal. A fantastic performance. We look forward to seeing you progress through those amateur ranks. A pleasure to watch you, sir. Thank you. I Ashley Darcy. For one second, um, RIP Blake. RIP Grandad. Happy birthday, mum. Thank you. Oh, a pleasure, sir. Thank, Thank you. you.